<clears throat> I got to get the Goku right for this cringe right here. <clears throat> this is the power of Hercule Instinct. Nah, 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 nah. Let me chill. Let me chill. <laughs> Don't flame me in the comments, bro. Hey, this team got me into Godly. And you guys need to check it out because literally anybody can do this. Even a two-year-old, bro. Now, my name is Akashi and in this video, I'm going to be telling you how I got to Godly using this dog garbage team, bro. And this video, I want to preface this before I even get five millimeters more into this video. I did not get Godly with this team to flex that I am a good player. I'd like to think I'm an average player. There's so many players that are so much better than me that don't even aim for Godly. Even some of the, the good Godly players are way better than me like i'm just gonna put it out there i'm not making this video to say that i'm very good at the game it's not a flex even though i'm gonna flex that i still got godly come on bro like you would too bro let's be real it's, it's, it's like being a millionaire for gamble bro like come on bro but um i'm not here to flex the fact that i have godly it's the fact that i have complaints with the boost system which is a very big issue in my opinion but i feel like it's being swept under the rug because it helps everybody who summons on the new banners and on top of that this team is just busted to show that if everybody was using this team and to start a toxic meta i'll literally post another video as a step-by-step -step guide of how to use hercule instinct that's what i'm calling it because it's dumb it's actually dumb there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to win every single pvp battle and that's how i done it and how i got to godly but like i said i'm not here to flex i'm not here to say oh, i'm better than xyz person or everybody else but i guess using this team is better than cheating <laughs> I didn't cheat my way to uh, Godly, did it legit, but the team is just very, very toxic and people are going to say what they want, they're going to have uh, complaints and whatnot, but I'm not here to play, it's just the point that I'm I pro I prove, I'm proving a point to say that this team is dumb, uh, the boost system is ridiculous and I got to Godly because of it and I feel like a lot of people could do it because the team's so brain dead but i'm waffling a lot this is just the introduction i'm going to get to explaining hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video if you haven't already make sure to press the subscribe button we are on this grind to 25,000 subscribers all my social media links on the left is the youtube channel where we got a twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below but yeah man i'm not going to hold you guys up any longer it's been quite an introduction let's get into this video now all right so boom as you can see this team comprises of the new ultra super gold gr easily the best unit in the game this is not up to debate someone tried to tell me it's an opinionated how good somebody is like just a stupid opinion in my opinion that's not even an opinion like, it's just stupid like obviously characters are clearly better than other characters ultra goji is clearly the best character in the game we've got bardock there we've got namek goku there we've got super saiyan 3 goku there we got zenkai 7 lf super vegeto one of the best characters in the game as well and then the main fighting force on this team we've got world champion hercule hero level hero being above ultra by the way like he's just so clear <laughs> so clear and the gameplay you will see in this video is ridiculous people could not handle this guy i promise you and that's not even to say like i'm, I'm not even trolling i'm dead ass not trolling he was tanking future future uh, lf gohan ultimates he was tanking LF Rose blue cards. Like what? A, this hero Hercule, I swear to God, on everything I love on my mother's life, this guy is a unit, bro. And everybody knows that he's annoying. Because if we go into his kit, he has the no switching on his main ability, which is the main thing, uh, one of the second main thing that makes his kit so useful. But the thing that really makes him annoying is the fact that he inflicts strong poison. 100% chance to do so by the way and he inflicts paralyze 100% chance to do so and he can do that twice when he switches in and that is a big inconvenience for a lot of a big inconvenience for a lot of meta characters so just using him alongside the best unit in the game he can literally shred blue boys in four to five cards 
I promise you this team is disgusting. The gameplay shows how disgusting the team is and it's actually unfair. Like, I'll be real, it's so unfair. If you're, if you're using this team, I felt like a scumbag. But it was a lot of fun because it's so toxic, bro. Like, that toxicity feeling, like being a troll on purpose sometimes it's fun bro like it's generally fun but it's not a good thing at all because if the whole meta was using this i would have major complaints but honestly it's so powerful that i literally i'm literally gonna title it hercule instinct like that's what i scored at the start of the video ultra instinct go king or nothing on this guy bro like honestly he it's he is so clear and i couldn't um well i could have uh, I was actually grinding and I got to battle rank 67, 68 using Super Saiyan. Uh, obviously, I was bringing out Bardock, but it got boring. So the team I opt in for every single game is actually Hercule as a start. You pick Goji as second and then you pick SV third. I always bring them three. I never bring Bardock. Bardock is there because uh, he Zenkai buffs uh, Goji R. Namek Goku also Zenkai buffs Goji R. Super Saiyan 3 gives a Z ability defense. And he's Zenkai Bus SV. So both fusion units on this team are very solid. It just works all together. And obviously Gogeta has to be leader slot because of how his kit works. Now, not only does Hercule lock in, Gogeta locks in when Hercule dies. And as you can imagine, Hercule is an easy unit to sack off. I did say he's tough, but when it gets to going, you can sack him off easy. Gogeta, you selected him second, so he comes in. And then they're locked in for, I believe it's five time accounts. That is dumb, on top of the fact that you've probably already locked them in with Hercule for 10 time accounts and they have the Paralyze, now it's just another easy pack. Remember there's Rising Rushes, so you probably also got that. Ultra Gogeta gets two ultimates, you've got two more of those. SV cancels all buffs and he has an ultimate, gains buffs of a ridiculous amount of draw speed. It's all great man, it all comes together to just form this deadly team and I tell you, I probably went on 25 game win streak to lose just one it's probably the easiest godly run you'll ever see if you actually run this team and it's honestly unbeatable unless you just make a mistake genuinely it's like unless you just have uh make genuine mistakes or you're just that bad there's no way you can lose with this team and like i said i'm going to drop a step-by-step -step process on how to win with the team uh but it's actually very toxic and it's just a, it's a mad discovery i've made now pretty much to conclude this video i'm just going to give my uh, thoughts on actually the idea of godly and the boost i already said at the start of the video that the boost i don't think it's a good thing when i heard about it straight away i was like okay the new league re uh, the leagues and the the pvp revamp that's beautiful but when i heard there was boost i feel like it's just like a excuse for them not knowing how to balance units let's say gogia is actually uh okay but then he gets that featured boost i feel like it does make a big difference and having that be the case, it forces people to summon to actually keep up or not have a stressful time in PvP. At the moment when I was getting to Godly during this uh, time, the RP system was terrible. Obviously, they're making improvements. I should show a tweet on the screen. But generally speaking, the boost units, having them there, it does make older units better. But I feel like still putting new units in the featured section just ruins everything because it makes them too powerful to the point where... A team like this could get you to godly even in this cracked rp system where if you lose one game i swear to you 10 wins during getting godly is equivalent to one loss i could win 10 games and then that all that progress that i made in probably 30 minutes 40 minutes is gone by one loss from someone that's a 10k rp player when i'm at 14k it's ridiculous the boost unit being there the boost feet section being there means that there's less opportunities for you to actually win the game because if there's less opportunities for you to get priority because everybody's just doing a, 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 shit, done, a shit ton of uh, damage, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, you'd lose the game in three priorities sometimes. Uh, two priorities, they've already got their rush with all the draw speed mechanics and whatnot with most of the new units and the OP units um, that are already in the game. They've already got their rush. So now they've killed you off that two priorities. They killed you again with a rush and now you're 1v3. Like... You're not going to be in a good spot and then like i've added with this hercule it just makes it even worse because now you can't move you can't switch it just puts you even more in a tighter box and that's really something i don't like 
but godly as a whole i really really mess with it like it's the oh, it's so beautiful bro like it's probably one of the most beautiful cinematic things i've seen when leveling up in a game when you see the flames come up and it says you your godly player godly player on the front on the pvp screen even though i only had it for like 24 hours because um like i just didn't uh play earlier and i wanted to actually capitalize on something which i'm going to explain right now um it, it, it still felt very good and i have that title i don't see myself really grinding for it again especially with my university schedule life schedule but it was just a fun thing to do with this team now if i'm gonna give you some advice on how to get to godly generally or just how to rank up i genuinely advise using the first win of the day to your advantage remember i told you earlier in this video that 10 wins is equal to one loss as you will see on the screen when i got to the last game i had 97 rp until i hit godly i told myself i'm not gonna play why because I told you 10 wins equal 1 losses. 1 loss. So if I played 7 games and I lost, I'd be lower than 97 RP, meaning I'd have to win those back. But I grinded very hard and uh, got to 97 RP left until but BR70, so I'm BR69. And then I knew that when the game resets at 6am the next day, in the UK that's what it is, I would use the 100 RP bonus that I get for my first win to get godly. So even if I got 1 RP for the win, in the next day because it's my first game of the of the day i would get 100 rp minimum so i used that and i won the first game i played a, a low rank player fortunately it wasn't nobody high rank and it was just that i hit godly i didn't play after that because i got the i got the animation and whatnot i was just satisfied with that content i wasn't going for no top rank i just wanted to see the animation and that's what made it what it was for me um beyond from that it's just about consistency if you go on a losing streak i suggest stopping playing because you don't want to like dig yourself a deeper hole you gotta really legends is a mentality game so anytime i'd lose um because it's still possible to lose trust me i'm not you have to be a very consistent player to hit godly and it's not just about skill you can be skillful but if you can't do the same thing skillful multiple times in a row you're not gonna reach that godly rank man like, you'll see so many good players not reach Godly just because they lose one time and then they get demoralized, they go on a losing streak. It's really a mental thing um, outside of your skill set, and that's just what it is. But yeah, man, I probably longed out this video, but uh, there's a lot of you that are probably going to want to get to Godly, and it's actually a, a good milestone to actually prove that you're actually a decent somewhat player. I told you guys I'm not here to flex, but hey, <laughs> people telling me congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Honestly um but yeah that's the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you think i know you guys are gonna say it's a toxic team probably it's coming way to get there but um try it out and when i post my other video on how to actually use the team effectively you will understand that this team is just broken to a point beyond comprehension especially with the boost and how detrimental the boost can be i could run this team in different variations every single meta depending on what units the boost and actually just destroy i feel like ultra goji is especially good but it just is what it is but yeah press that subscribe button if you haven't already on this grind to 25,000 subscribers all my social media links on the left is the youtube channel but we've got a twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below but yeah man my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one